Hello everyone. Hope all of you are doing well and taking care of yourself and your loved ones. We have been getting a lot of queries to make video on the latest restriction and changes announced by Government of Canada. On March 13, 2020, the Public Health Agency of Canada advised Canadians to avoid all non-essential travel outside Canada in view of the worldwide pandemic and the rapidly evolving situation globally and to self-isolate for a minimum of 14 days upon returning to Canada. The government recommends that Canadians take additional steps including avoiding mass gathering and advised organizers to consider cancelling postponing events or modifying the format, maybe make it to video conferencing. This is why you could have noticed many events, shopping mall, gym, etc. are getting closed and sending emails to its customers informing the same. On Monday, March 16th, Canada announced it is closing its border to most people who are not Canadian citizens or permanent residents. Exceptions will be made for immediate family members of Canadians, US citizens, air crew members and diplomats. In simple terms, you cannot board a plane to Canada if you have been outside of Canada or United States in the last 14 days unless you are a Canadian citizen, Canadian permanent resident or in transit to a third country. The measure will come into force on Wednesday, March 18th at 12 p.m. EDT. It would not apply to air crews, travelers arriving in Canada in transit to third country, Canadian permanent residents, diplomats or immediate family members of Canadian citizens. One more measure has been announced by Government of Canada that will provide air operators to deny boarding of a traveler who is symptomatic regardless of citizenship status and keep them from going on an international flight to Canada even if it's transport flight. Air operators will be required to do a basic health assessment of all air travelers before they board the flight based on guidance from PHSE. Airlines will be asked to begin implementing immediately and to have fully in place by Thursday, March 19th. Except this, there will be strengthening medical procedures in flight and medical screening immediately upon landing with enhanced cleaning and disinfection at airports. The government will redirect some international passengers' flight arrivals to four airports Toronto Pearson Airport, Vancouver International Airport, Montreal International Airport, and Calgary International Airport. The change will come into effect on Wednesday, March 18th. The Public Health Agency of Canada, PHSE, has asked that Canadians avoid non essential travel outside Canada and that any traveler, Canadian or non Canadian, arriving in Canada undertake 14 days of self-isolation. So guys, these are all the measures Government of Canada has been taken. The official link of the same will be in the description box. You can visit that website for more details and please, please, please do not believe in the unreliable messages and fake news. Thanks for watching this video.